Gluten-free Morgan. Uh, I am so tired. There's a lot of things happening today. Well, actually not a lot of things. To me, it feels like there's a lot of things happening. Not really though. I gotta go make some coffee. Let's go. Well, um, my camera died as I was going down to make coffee. So uh, this is what's left of it. You know, I think it's time for round two. I don't know why I feel the need to show you how I make my coffee, but I want to, so I'm going to. Oh, that's a lot of cinnamon at the bottom. Oh, all right, let's go. All right, here's the plan. Well. It's not really a plan, it's just how I normally make my coffee. My favorite thing to make right now, well, it's the only thing I'm making right now, is oat milk, honey, cinnamon lattes, because they're just, they're good. We need a glass. Boom, we got it. Crystal, because I'm a fancy like that. I bought myself a giant pack of cinnamon at Walmart. It's gonna last me like 10 years. I got this honey. It looked interesting. It's like a lot darker than normal. I have never heard of buckwheat honey before, but uh, apparently it's healthier for you somehow. I read something, they were like, the bees have to work harder because it's harder to pollinate buckwheat. I, I don't know. We're using good old Nespresso. What, what ones are these? Chiro? I don't know. Looks like this. I will see if it focuses. All right, so. I feel weird, I gotta like crouch down. How I normally do this is I put my honey in first and I count to eight. I've, this is what I've determined to be the best amount for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we do a little, little sprinkle. Give it a quick stir real quick. Oat milk. This is my all time favorite. The Califia Farms, Califia, Califia, I, I don't know. My mom and my sisters hate it. Other people I know, I don't know. People don't like it, but I like it. It, it has like a more like toasted oat flavor. I don't know, whatever it is, I, I like it. There we go. I need some ice. Well, hello there. I got these big old whiskey ice cubes. We're fancy like that. Oh, <sighs> who let me have a camera? All right, it barely fits in the glass. Um, I have to kind of like stick it in sideways like that. This is just how I do it. I'm giving you the real, real life look. This is not fancy. It tastes fancy, but it doesn't necessarily, the process isn't really good looking. I gotta put you down. Oh, hello there. Just put my spoon away. Uh, see ya. Actually, before we go upstairs, we gotta say hi to Queen. She's very needy and needs a lot of attention, so we're gonna give her some real quick. Hey! She's so sweet. See you later. Also fun fact, I'm very allergic to cats. Well, not very allergic, but I'm already starting to get uh, like rashes from petting her. So, gotta wash and try to rinse my arms off as best as I can. All right, now music time. Thank you. 
I'm a practice in, uh, and it's only 147. So, um, I got quite a bit of time before rehearsal starts. Rehearsal's at 6 at Josh's house. I got, got some hours to kill. I need to eat. I need to eat. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go down to the fridge, see what I can get for some lunch. Oh, I didn't eat breakfast, did I? Yeah, so uh, we'll have brunch, which will probably be leftover pizza that I had last night. So I'm gonna go grab that, and then I'll decide what I want to do now until I have to pack up and go to rehearsal. All right, I got the za right here. Gluten-free, I think it was Freshetta brand. No, what brand was it? No, it was Kroger. It was Kroger brand. Kroger's at it. Yeah. I have nothing to complain about Kroger. It's great. Oh, hey Kroger, I mean, if you want to sponsor me, be, be my guest. I got a whopping 40 subscribers. I probably know each and every one of them personally, and uh, I'm sure I could convince them to go and buy one of your products, so, you know, hit me up. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna chill for a little bit, watch some YouTube when I eat my pizza, and uh, yeah, I, I think I saw this video about, uh, I don't know, what is it? Hacker interview. Gummo. I don't know. Looks interesting. I think I'm gonna watch it. It's like 40 minutes. I don't know if I'm gonna watch the whole thing, but I might watch half of it while I eat my food. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, my story started pretty, um, pretty young, right? Uh, I was born... <laughs> I think my rehearsal got delayed a little bit, so we're not starting till like seven now. So I had a, a little bit more time to kill, so I just made like a little idea, a little song starter, just like an eight bar loop of just some sloppy guitar, <laughs> drums and bass, just to get an idea. I just like sometimes when I have extra time, just starting little things that, you know, if I'm writing with somebody else or like feel stuck on a certain day when I'm trying to make a song or just whatever it's kind of nice to have these little mini projects that are partially started with a set of chords and a set of sounds that I can kind of go back to and maybe it'll spark an idea sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't but I've kind of started making it a habit to try to at least make one thing of music a day or like accomplish some little thing with music every day whether it's just an eight bar loop like this or adding a bridge to a song or just whatever I just try to do a piece of something every day with music because not every day like the creativity is a hundred percent and I can you know I can't every day make a full song or a full track some days I can 
Um, but more busy days like this where I have band rehearsals and practicing and just stuff like that. My whole day isn't dedicated to just producing. So on days like this, I just use my extra, you know, time to make little song starters and stuff. And yeah, I feel like it's maybe a nice little idea for something in the future. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I still got, still got a little bit of time. I probably, I know what I should do. I don't really want to do it though. I have a bag of not a bag, I have like a bin of laundry. I wonder if you can see it. My... Hey, there it is. They're clean clothes, but uh, they're very wrinkly because I have been avoiding folding my la I hate laundry. I hate it so much. I will happily do the dishes. I will happily sweep or vacuum or anything but laundry. I cannot stand it. Uh, but... Now my clothes are in the bin, but I think I'm gonna put them back in the dryer, get all the wrinkles out, and then actually put everything away this time. Cause I still have like an hour and a half before I need to pack up and go. I'm gonna go do that real quick. Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Get out of here. What are you doing in here? What are you doing? I'm trying to put my laundry away. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to be a big boy and do my laundry. Don't get in my way. Got the laundry, all right. Buy yourself wood hangers, just do it. It's not that much more than plastic hangers. I mean, maybe it is, I don't know. It's like $20 for like 15 hangers or something. So I bought a few packs of them. I mean, yeah, you can spend $100 to get a whole big set, but they're so much better than anything else. The plastic ones end up breaking at some point and they just don't look good. If you get like the space saver hangers, you know, the fuzzy ones, you know, you know the kind I'm talking about that your grandma probably has because she bought them on TV or something. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, they don't save space. And your clothes, like, it's hard to put them on the hanger. Like, they get stuck and bunched up and not good. These, anything goes on easy, and they look way better. They're going to hold up way better to, like, heavyweight kind of clothing stuff, too. So just do yourself a favor and get wood hangers. <sighs> We're done. I did it. Oh, my gosh, it's... Oh, it's bright. I'm gonna start loading up my gear in probably 15 minutes and then we'll head out to Josh's house for a rehearsal. We're all loaded up and we're gonna head out to Josh's. Got the amp, my speaker, my bass, everything's all here. We're ready to go. Oh, it's so sunny.
All right, rehearsal is done. It's like almost 11 and uh, went pretty good. It was a lot of fun. And uh, we got a couple more rehearsals before we leave to Texas next Wednesday. So um, yeah, I'm gonna head home. I'm starving. So I'm gonna go home, eat some food and crash. Seem like sounds are coming from around or behind you. Please use caution when operating Pinch and Lou, produced in association with Officer the Freedom to listen to that story. Morning, noon, and night. She's always looking for the pets. Say bye. Say bye. Say goodbye. Bye bye. Oh, hey. How's it going? I think it's time to make some dinner. I am starving and it's way too late now. Um, I think I'm going to make some tacos. All right, let's do this. A bunch of ground turkey. Oh my gosh, I forgot the most important thing, tortillas. All right, uh, gotta wash my hands. I just touched raw meat. All right, we're good. How we looking? A little binging with Babish. Today we're gonna be making tacos with turkey. Now we're cooking. All right, I think our ground turkey is done. Gonna let that chill there. Put on my spicy back. All right, ground turkey's going there. This is going here. And now it is tortilla time. Ah. Uh. I'm watching a cockroach crawl on my bottle of Cholula. Uh, one second, I gotta take care of this. No Cholula for you, mister. I got him, I got him. Bye bye, he went. It's like that's the thing that's dynamic. Yeah, yeah. So Which people are tipping more than I have expected lately. I've like gotten a mix of like, I feel like the weekdays, I get more like $2, $3 tips, but then Amongst those, then there's like the $8, like $7 tips or whatever. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Well, I ate dinner. The tacos were really good. And uh, now it's bedtime. Uh, thanks for liking and subscribing. And uh, yeah, make sure to hit the notifications bell if you want to actually be notified of when I put new videos out. I put a new one out every Friday, so, uh, yeah, I'll have something new for you, but I gotta... Uh, oh, sorry, I'm going to bed. Uh, peace, peace out.